if I'm lifting my head up, because I'm I'm drinking my coffee and this this wretched headset is not is too bulky for me to drink my coffee without moving the headset. So um, don't think yeah, I'm craning my neck weirdly. It's good to um, yeah, some things one can't see. Nick Clegg was the leader of Britain's Liberal Democrats. In 2010, he formed a coalition with David Cameron's Conservatives and became Deputy Prime Minister. Then that fell apart and the Brexit vote happened and Clegg took another bruising assignment at Facebook. Then Facebook became meta and told us that the future of technology was immersive digital worlds known as the metaverse. So I was asked to meet Nick Clegg in the metaverse. Can I start off and ask, you're, so you're obviously now much more tech savvy. Hang on, hang on, Henry, before we start, can we just turn around? Look, we have a logo for you. You see? <laughs> We just check check that you know that we've provided all. Thank you for all corporate accoutrements. uh, All corporate um, accoutrements. That (laughs) I mean, I think in your politics you had a sort of anti-establishment bent, and does the tech world fit into that? I think the British political establishment is in deep trouble. I think it's an unreformed set of institutions, you know, which I think are really holding the country back. And I've long viewed social media as being something which in the end, is enormously empowering because it allows billions of people to express themselves in a way they couldn't do before without being told what to say, what to think, and so on. What's the decision you found sort of hardest or that's most brought that home to you? Oh, I think the Trump decision. Right. Which Mark asked me to, to sort of lead on. And and it, I really, really wrestled with that because on the one hand, it seemed entirely clear to me that, you know, what appeared on our platform in Trump's name transgressed some pretty basic principles and there was a very strong case um that, that he should no longer be you know entitled to express himself on our platform on the other hand whatever you think of donald trump you know he's the former president of the greatest democracy on the planet and it is it is an exercise of considerable power on the part of then facebook to say no you're not welcome on our platform for two and and what was interesting was that we got we got roundly criticized interestingly by people like Angela Merkel and, and Macron and others yeah. who were saying how... So it's a, it's a classic dilemma, which was that if we had not taken that decision, we would have been roundly criticised probably by the same people for not acting. Because remember, Twitter had, had, had said that he would be, you know, he was, he was sort of forbidden for life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yet in taking the action, we're accused of deploying too much sort of private sector power. And... and and interestingly, by the way, not that you've asked, the most difficult one decision I feel we took in government, which is quite different to what people often expect me to say, and it's also the one I probably regret the most, was the military intervention in Libya. That that was, I found that absolutely agonising, and I think we got it wrong. I thought we got it really wrong, and it's the one I regret most, actually, not interestingly enough. I, when um, did you become convinced it was wrong? Uh, quite a long time afterwards. So I'm not going to pretend it was an instant sort of wisdom, but um, maybe about a year or so later. And of course, at that time, I remember that. Oddly, I remember speaking to Biden about it um, a lot, and, and, and Cameron obviously was speaking to Obama a lot, and, and they were very, very wary of what um, what we were the French. I mean, gosh, isn't that an interesting thing, Henry? To think back on it, and in, in a, to a day where the French and the British take a joint military decision where now we can't even agree on fishing licenses. I mean, it's just, it's just an amazing illustration of how the world has changed. I, I think you reported when you first met Mark and Cheryl, you said the problem is that people think you're too powerful and yeah. you don't care. Yeah, and, I mean, and that remains the case. But at the same time, Facebook wants to be more powerful. And, uh, you know, meta, uh, the metaverse will, if successful, lead to an increase in, in Facebook's power over, over people's lives. I think the answer, as ever, with power is to hold it to account. You know, one of the things I would love us to do, and I think we will do this, and this is something that, you know, I think many people in the company believe is right, is just give con- users much, much, much more control. So the power relationship between the platform and the user shifts much more to the latter. That's the first thing that you can do. Second thing you can do is obviously regulate, put rules in place about elections, about privacy, about data portability, about content moderation. And then the third thing you need to do is just kind of it is it devolve things from decision makers in the company where you can, which is why I think the oversight board is so important. And then the final thing I'd say is I do think there's a considerable potential for the kind of fundamentals of blockchain technology such that you have a trusted system, but you have no central authority running that system, which is in essence the kind of governance insight of blockchain. Um, I wonder whether that's something actually you could start instilling in the metaverse. In other words, that you have in the metaverse 
forms of governance where precisely the company is not in control and is not appearing like big brother over your shoulders. Do you, do you have an idea of what, what safety looks like in the metaverse? I.e., will I be allowed to, in, a, in some kind of uh, meta uh, environment, walk over and sort of and push you and maybe slap you or like I might do in a pub? If you're in Horizon, as you are now, right, that's run by Meta, that's owned by Meta, it's designed by Meta, clearly Meta then has a, has a responsibility to make sure that, that, that you and I have got the controls we need to keep ourselves safe. And we have those already. You, you, you can literally, a press of a button, you can, you can sort of make yourself invisible. Yeah. You, can, you can abstract yourself from, from, from a space where you don't feel safe. You can report to, to content, content moderators. But remember... The, the, the metaverse is far, far bigger than the, the, the meta metaverse. It's far yeah. bigger than Horizons. You will move from this space to a different space, maybe run and designed by Microsoft or by Roblox. The technology of the metaverse means that you and I will be able to literally create rooms ourselves. We, we need to think really hard about the different layers of responsibility. It's obvious to me that if you're a company that is designing the basic operating system, you have a heavy responsibility for how that operating system works in the same way that Apple and Google have a heavy responsibility for the way in which Android and iOS work at the moment. Could you stay another five years here, another 10 years in California? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. But um, not another five years. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm such a European at heart, but the, no, the work I've got no, um, I've got no, um, I've got no sell by date in my, my head at all, not least because I actually think there are some really big things that I've been working on, particularly this whole new kind of generation regulation that I want to see through. I want to see how this pans out. It yeah. fascinates me. How's the meeting worked out, the metaverse? Did, uh, did, this was one. this as good as Zoom? Um, well, you tell me, Henry. I mean, I, 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 run my, I run my team meetings every Monday morning here, and I like it because, I mean, I, I like it because I, I do... I do feel I'm sitting next to you. How, how do you uh, feel about it? I, I feel, um, yeah, I, I think, as you say, a very early, I, I don't want really to use the word prototype, but rudimentary, as you say. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. you can see what you're building towards. I that's, think, right. On this. that's right. Um, that's right. No, that's very well put. It's, it's not, it's by no means the finished product. Look, we don't even have, um, we don't even have legs, legs or feet.